Hola, and welcome to part three of my DIY LED uh, lighting project. Today I work on uh, the actual panels themselves. I start assembling the main parts of the project. And uh, if you want to view the series, uh, the other videos, the previous videos in the series, the annotations are all around me. Uh, alternatively, all relevant links are in the description down below, next to the like, comment, and uh, subscribe buttons. So let's go, and I will show you what I've been up to. Uh, basically what I need to do is get one piece of wood, uh, the one main part of it, and the two side panels, and screw them on like this. Thankfully, I don't need to actually go through all that because I've actually already done it. <laughs> you know, I've just like screwed these uh, two in. Basically what I need to do now is make some con make some uh, electrical rails at each side, one for positive, one for negative, and then and I will be using uh, this magnet wire for that. What I'm going to have to do is use glass paper or sandpaper on this to actually um, or green paper according <laughs> to this I'm gonna have to um, you know sand the the coating off it so that I can you know s solder onto it uh, right so what I need to do is cut this to size this magnet wire to me always seems to smell of brand new washing machines <laughs> I don't know why but it always does as you can see here most of it is you know being scraped off and I can tell easily with that basically what I need now is the glue gun and finally one on the other end okay so this is down and sturdy and all well it's secure and all I need to do is do the same on the side these holes basically what these holes are for is for the the wires the electrical wires to go from the other side and, do, and so you can go through and just solder them directly onto these rails so everything I'm doing now, I'm going to have to do twice, because there's two panels. One of the panels will have the power supply on, the other panel will just be an LED panel with a, a wire or a connector. Well, a wire and a connector, <laughs> kind of um, going from one to the other. So the power supply will obviously power both of them. Right, so this is all I need from this glue gun now. So what I actually need to do now is the fun and repetitive task <laughs> of cutting uh these led strips all to this length so count yourself lucky that you don't have to watch uh through all of this now hopefully by the end of this i will have a nice lighting rig set up and i cannot wait to be honest because i'm sick of using makeshift lighting all right so we are now at the end of the reel oops Right, so all of a sudden, just by magic, uh, I have all these cut, and also not only that, it is now sunny and bright in this room, so I don't need the lighting. <laughs> so hey, I could do a lot with this click. <laughs> anyway, I managed to cut these all the size, all as in these strips here, uh, this much and all the same length, making sure I cut them along that line. And not only that, what I did was I cut it. On each, I, I cut one of the terminals out. If you just rotate it, it's the same one. But on this side, it is the it is the positive terminal. And of course, if you rotate it on the same side, it's going to be the negative terminal. So that on each one. And yeah, it's a bit tedious doing that. But hey, why don't you just like grab a tea or something and, you know, do it while watching a video or <laughs> something like this, you know. So that's, it makes it a much quicker task. So I've got all of these now, and that's two reels worth of, so two of these, two of these reels worth of um, LEDs here. So what I need to do now is start sticking them on like this. As you'll see, the terminals here, all the positive terminals must be on this side because the positive terminals are all gonna connect to this, this rail, this positive rail. And the negative terminals are all gonna be here. So all I really need to do now is just peel these off 
and stick them on here. And I am wondering why not just put some music on in the background. I forgot to mention, when you are actually cutting this... Okay, there's only... My space is running out of my camera, there's only 14 minutes left. So, when you're um, cutting this, this bit here, what you have to do is you have to peel back this, this gel-like um, waterproofing. I'll show you on this one how exactly I was doing it. And you have to kind of have long nails <laughs> or just do it with, you know. Right, see, so I've got... So basically what you're doing is you're splitting it up just like this. Come on, focus. You're splitting it up just like that and this top bit, you're snipping it off. No, because with this I don't need to do it, so I'll just like push it back together again and Okay, I've only got two minutes left So, let me hold on, let me just kind of Stop this and delete some footage That wasn't 14 minutes, it was a bracket and freaking four so, <laughs> so yeah, I misread that Right, I'm back again and now with way more time on the camera so I can now relax and not worry about how much storage I have left and as I said earlier, when you are sticking them down on here, make sure the polarity is right there, the right way around. So that's... It's actually quite therapeutic doing this for some reason. It's kind of nice. I'm enjoying it. The sun is shining beautifully and we have nice atmosphere going here. Basically this um, LED light panels has been, has been inspired by the one done by DIY Perks. Uh, he did one whole panel thing whereas I've actually split it into done my design and done a few bits of my own here and there. So I'm wondering this is gonna be a little bit of a tight thing because it's just a small tiny space there where I'm gonna have to kind of tin every single one of these. I really actually, I should have tinned these terminals. I will recommend that. I will recommend these, these terminals on the LED here, as you can see there, to tin these with solder before actually sticking them down because I think it's gonna make life more easier if, if we do that. Right, so all of them are tinned and done. Now going back to sticking them down again. <laughs> Ooh, something is stuck underneath this one. And I have no idea what it is, it's just this freaking great big black blob. Right, so there we have it. All our LED strips stuck down. Just make sure you get them give a bit of, make sure you give them a bit of a press. So the adhesive is, you know, tie, you know, properly stuck down. And you don't get things, you know, peeling back or anything like this. All I need to do is feed it through, and as you can see it coming through there, and that's fine. I guess it's weird, I'm gonna have to use my left hand for the soldering iron. Yes, 
wet basically is done now is go behind it and pull through the excess wire which is you know I think it's come to the point where I'm going to need some assistance for the lighting so a lamp I'm gonna need excuse I apologize for the lighting I'm working on it right now <laughs> literally <laughs> okay let me just kind of test this for continuity I can never say that word <laughs> okay good okay where is that reel of freaking solar gun I swear my stuff has legs it kind of like you know walks away So this is gonna require some patience, <laughs> you know, I mean, it's uh, when if you want to do it properly, you do it nice and you know, everything is right. All the joints are good. So eliminate problems and prancing around later on trying to freaking wonder what's wrong with it all. Ah, it was inevitable that I poked myself with some stupid wire. Right. I gotta clean that up now. <laughs> right, let's do a slight midway test here because it kind of looks cool <laughs> you know put the uh, thingy down and connect it to a 9 volt battery so you got the negative here and the positive here so as you can see some of them are connected some of them are not and uh, that's because I haven't finished it off yet Right, finally I am done here and also as you can see at the back there are two wires coming out of the you know the each of the rails so basically this is the negative rail and this is the positive rail and the circuitry I'm going to connect onto here now let me just test this so to test it I will switch the lamp off completely and the camera compensates thank you very much connect the negative to the battery and the positive and we have every single strip working Woo! I can see we have every single strip working except for one loose connection which so what I will do is I'll solder this one on properly but other than this one which is loose the rest of them seem to be just perfect so now what I need to do is put this lamp back on. What I need to do now is do the same for the other side and the other panel, exactly the same thing. So we end up with two so we end up with two panels. But now I go for dinner because I am hungry, so I will see you later on on the next stage. Right, so one day and two dinners later. <laughs> I have both my LED panels actually done. Uh, the, obviously, they got the separate at the moment. I've just I put the LEDs together and wired them up. So let's test. Let's t the <laughs> let's test each one of them. Let's switch the lamp off here, and I will connect a nine volt PP3 battery to each one. This will drain the freak out of this battery, but <laughs> it's okay. It's rechargeable. <laughs> Right, so both of them are working. Not as bright, of course, because it's just one small battery. <laughs> um, but, I mean, even now there's a good amount of light coming from it. I'm getting dazzled. Every time I close my eyes, I can see, like, spots. <laughs> Which are these LED when I close my eyes? It's, like, burnt into my retinas. Let me switch the lamp back on again. So these are all done. And I will start the next part in the next video of of this uh, DIY LED series. So thank you so much for joining me. Please feel free to leave your thoughts and comment and also like if you like this and subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching. Adios!